Okay, so what we teaching is black history according to the Bible. All right, and so that's an important for black people because we do go through a lot. Are y'all aware of this? You gotta figure that out. Okay, you aware of this? You aware of this? Yes. Okay, so this is, we, we gotta bring value to ourselves by knowing our history, right? You feel me? So let me ask y'all something. Do y'all know what color Christ is? No? How you doing? No? What have we been told? He's white. That's right, right? We've been told that, right? Okay, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna show you the image of Christ. Is that okay? In the Bible. Okay, you ready? All right, kids. All right, the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Oh, okay. His head and his hair is white like wool. So that's woolly hair. See my man right here? What you got, bro? You got that woolly hair, right? You got that afro, right? You, you, you everybody agree? Your daddy got the afro too, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what made that curly hair, right? Yeah. Okay, our, our praises, you agree too. You know us, right? Okay, go ahead. And it's white as snow, and his eyes was as a flame of fire. Breathe. And his feet, like a divine brand. Okay, everybody, what color is brass? Copper. Cop copper. That's like a brownish, right? Okay, read. As if they burn in a furnace. So we talk, Christ's feet basically show his color that it was burned in the furnace. If you put something and burn it, what color is that? Black. We talking about a black man right there. That's, that brother dark. <laughs> that brother black. You know what I'm saying? But, but we didn't get taught that, have we? We ain't got taught that, right? Can y'all tell me some reasons why we may not have got taught that? What you think, sis? <laughs> the same thing that there has been for years. Just the suppression of the teachings of all kinds of different people. You said, what would you say? The suppression of teaching of all kinds of people. That's right. Oppression. A level of oppression. Go ahead. And so, oh yeah, this is where I can, y'all can, y'all answers can be recorded. Um, so why do you think that is? Why do you think they gave us a different image? Because uh, that's how they see them? Okay. That's the, what you think, sis. I think it's their ideal. Meaning what? Go ahead. That's good. Elaborate. Just, you know, they're white. They think their God is white. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's what I think. You, you on point. You on point. <laughs> so that means we know that the Bible we read and say something different, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So y'all got to understand this was actually taken from us. So us American blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans is actually the Israelites according to the Bible. Have y'all ever heard this before? Y'all never heard this before? Okay. We the Israelites. What you got? Okay, do it. We, we're going to go to Deuteronomy 20 minutes. So this is interactive. You all right, sis? You all right, sis? You good? Okay, so this is interactive. So I'm going to ask a question. We're going to do like a little checklist. And we'll see if, if, if this prophecy that happened thousands of years ago qualified for us as a people. You get what I'm saying? We're talking about the, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 16. Hey, y'all heard of Moses? You heard of Moses, right? Everybody here heard of Moses? So this is the book of Moses. What's happening, brother? How you feeling? Well, yourself. This your uh, brother right here? No, my dad. Okay. <laughs> this ain't your brother? Right? No. Okay. Well, I feel like I could be a brother. Hey, you look like it, bro. You look like you could be a brother, man. But I guess that's that black grace. It is. Okay, so what we actually teach you right now is black history according to the Bible. Okay. So we went through like the color of Christ black man. Yeah, yeah. You feel, you, see, you understand. So now what we're doing is doing a checklist. So we're doing a checklist to see if the prophecies qualify for us being Israelites or somebody else. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. It shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. No, 16. 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So curse shall, so Moses is giving prophecy in the future what would happen to us if we didn't obey God. So it says that we would be cursed in the city. Can y'all tell me something? Does that sound like it could be true? Meaning what though? Exactly, that, that is a great question. So when we're dealing with the justice system, is that a level of unfairness? Yes. Yeah. Okay, when we're dealing with uh, real estate and different businesses like that, is there a level of unfairness? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's laws. Exactly. I'm, <laughs> I'm in real estate, so there's laws. There's right? laws. You ever heard of redlining? Yes. So you know what's up with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me ask y'all something. If you wanted to find black people and you didn't know nothing about a city, where are you going to go? 
Martin Luther King. My man. Hey, hold on. Okay, listen, hey, I'm from Southside Chicago. I know that yeah. any black people you gonna find on Martin Luther King. Right. Yeah. Which, which actually, I'm gonna tell you, I, I think that's the part of the red line. It is. And not only that, it's a prophecy because we just read that again from my brother. Verse 16. Curse should I be in the city, and curse should I be in the field. So that's we got some curses going on. So everybody agree with that? So we struggle in the city, ghettos, everything else, injustice. If we get pulled over by the police, I don't care if you code for if you ain't doing nothing. It's like, ooh, there's a level of fear. It just is what it is. Okay, and it said curse in the field. I know y'all can figure that one out. What's that? I anywhere you go, anywhere in this land. Anywhere, anywhere, you, anywhere you go, that's true. First hired, last, I mean, first fired, last hired. But of course we got slavery, picking cotton, tobacco. There you go. It's a visuals field. There we go. So, so th that's of course slavery. I was just reading on that. You was just reading on that, right? Deuteronomy, yeah. Yeah. You was reading Deuteronomy. Yeah. So this is what we're going over right now. Yeah. So Deuteronomy is a prophecy for us. Yep. And so right now, that curse right there, cursing the field and cursing the city. Who that? Who, that, that don't go for nobody but us. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? Yep. Okay. So is that a one check right there? Yep. We good? Yep. Okay. Give me um. um Give me 28 and 28. The book of Deuteronomy, tell the 28, verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart. So we talking about we will be smitten with blindness, madness, and astonishment of heart. Anybody want to interject with an idea? Okay, so, so that's all right. So astonishment. Let me tell y'all something. We as a people, if we standing around in the corner hanging out, chilling with each other, and a car drive up with a song that we like, what's the first thing we do? Sing and dance. Sing and dance. <laughs> That's a damn astonishment. We start singing and dancing. You know what I'm saying? When, 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 when a brother gets some money, he decides to pay for rims, and he got children to take care of. That's an astonishment. Do you understand what I'm saying? These are astonishment, madness. We as the people are going crazy. We sitting up here following people that have put us in impression but never coming together. We all know about Black Wall Street, right? Why ain't we duplicated it? Madness, right? Madness. Keep reading 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind groping in darkness. Read. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. So right there, we're gonna grope at noonday as the blind gropers in the darkness. So what are we always trying to do? Trying to figure out a way to get ahead, to make money, to move, but how does it usually turn out? We got a few sprinkles of success, right? But most of the time, it's, it's rough. Y'all agree? Yeah, so that spoiled evermore means that we're always going to be clawing. Because one person doesn't make up a people, y'all agree? You can't use LeBron as an example when we're struggling, right? Is that facts? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we don't come together as a people. We robbed and spoiled. So we got another check, right? Yeah? yeah. So that's the Jews. It's talking about the Jews, the Israelites. Okay, so, hey, now I'm going to show you something else big. He just brought that sign out right there. You said you're reading on that, right? I'm going to show y'all something super amazing. So right here, I got it. So right here, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 68. So we, we could do the whole Deuteronomy 28 because it fits for us, but I'm just taking to some of the key points. You we cool with that? Because I know y'all out here trying to kick it, but we're building right now. Okay, read. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it Okay, no you more. heard that? He gonna bring Israel. Now you know what happened. What did Moses do? Does anybody know? He, he freed the slaves, right? The, sla the black people. And brought us out of Egypt, right? Did we take carriages, anything? We walked, right? So now it says we're going to go back into Egypt with ships. Can you ever remember that happening? Never. You ever hear, heard about that? So now I'm going to show you the secret of the Bible. People don't know what they're reading. Give me uh, Exodus 20 and 2. Hey, how you doing, Rihanna? That's right. Hey, you're more than welcome to listen. Come on, man. Okay, so what we're teaching is black history according to the Bible. And right now what we're going through is Deuteronomy 28, and we're doing a checklist to see if those thousands and thousands of years ago, if those prophecies match us as a people today. Okay? We're seeing if the Bible is more than just 
uh, inspirational words and get money, which we are against. Read. Book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. You hear that? Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, read. Out of the house of bondage. So what is Egypt? What did it say? It's land. Okay, read it again. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Now listen close. Here is the, here's the, here's the code. Read. Out of the house of bondage. So Egypt, God is calling Egypt what? The house of bondage, which is another word for what? Slavery. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy 28. And we're not speaking our words. I ain't giving you no testimony. Y'all don't know me. Don't nobody out here know me, and I don't care that you know me. I'd rather you know this word. So I'm going to tell you the information so that you can disseminate it, research it, investigate it, find out for yourself what's happening. Not who I am. That's unimportant. Not who he is, not who he is, but what this Bible says. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into bondage. With ships. Holla at your boy. What is that? That's prophecy. Prophecy. The Bible is prophesying about us. Ain't nobody else did that but us. So now you get to actually see your identity written prophetically. Right? So, so is everybody under, does that make sense? Makes sense, right? Go ahead. Again, we'll ship by the way that whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond man and for bond women. That's deep, right? So we're going to be sold to our enemies for bond women and bond men. That means slavery. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel with an update from IUIC TV. We are now offering exclusive content on a monthly subscription. For the first time ever, exclusive content will be available to you for only a dollar ninety-nine monthly fee. That's right, for only a dollar ninety-nine, you'll be able to enjoy all the up-and-coming original content from IUIC: short films, documentaries, TV shows, and more. You don't want to miss this. The exclusive content is not available through the app. You'll need to log on through a browser to begin your subscription. The exclusive content is available now, Israel. It's available now. Let's not waste any time. Log on to IUIC TV and subscribe now. We thank you in advance for all your support and many blessings. Until then, stay healthy, stay faithful, but most of all, let's stay in the spirit. Most high in Christ bless you all. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is you.